Have you ever watched a Spider-Man movie and wish you could climb walls, swing around town, and even dance like Spider-Man? In today's video, we're gonna turn into Spider-Man. Without even leaving the house. Well, how is this possible, you say? First, we must find a highly radioactive spider. Ah! Using special VFX techniques, we will be able to recreate these scenes and shock the world that we're Spider-Man. One of my favorite things Spider-Man does is his ability to swing around the city. Now to recreate this, we're going to be using a drone to record the movement as if we were swinging from tree to tree. But wait, there's a risk. One wrong move with the drone. Yeah, it's already my third drone. Next, we set up a green screen outside. It'll capture the same lighting as the drone footage, which will help us blend in with the environment. I ran into many issues trying to record the green screen scenes. From it being too windy to buying stuff from China, I had to revert to the last resort. As you can see, we don't have much room in my room. We have the green screen set up and I have to have this little bottom one on. It's so bad, it's so oh. wrinkly with that. So we have the green screen right there. We have a light to replicate the sun. Here we have the camera all set up. Once I had the drone footage inside After Effects, I used my GoPro to try to time the web shots and the swings with the drone footage. Then it was time to put them into After Effects and start keying out and lining them up. Next, I wanted to do a run and swing effect. I first recorded myself running and jumping. Next, inside After Effects, I freeze framed as soon as I jumped, cut myself out, added a clean plate behind me, and started to animate myself to give off the effect if I was actually swinging away. I wanted to do a cool scene where I actually swung into the video. To create this, I jumped and played off if I just landed. Next, because of my green screen failures, I stood on a brick and pretended if I was actually swinging into frame. Inside After Effects, I cut myself out, animated myself swinging into frame, and used the puppet tool to move my limbs around to give myself more swinging motion. Next, I cut myself out mid-jump and animated myself falling into frame, and this is the result. All right, guys, we are on set for the last couple scenes for our Spider-Man video. And you know, where does Spider-Man always be? On the roof. It's a little scary, but not really, because I'm Spider-Man. I'm sitting on the edge and I'm getting a couple shots from down there. If, yeah, let's see if we zoom in right there. Getting this really cool low shot of us up here on the roof. Now, if you guys are wondering on where I get all my overlays from, I use a website called Production Crate. They have a wide selection of effects, overlays, and even sound effects that I use on almost all my videos. They even have a wide selection of web overlays if you guys want to go try to create these scenes for yourself. If so, I'll leave a link down below in the description if you guys want to go check them out. And after countless hours of recording, keyframing, compositing, problems, and special effects, I present to you the next Spider-Man movie. Yeah, the sun flies.